Welcome back, my sweet friends. So let's add first our assets, search from AR library, 3D shapes, and then add a higher sphere primitive. Click done. Now delete those lights since we don't need them and click on camera and extract the camera texture. Now add a rectangle. We're gonna need the background and uh, it's gonna be black just for this purpose. I find often fisheye effect with this kind of black background. So that's the background material. Now we grab the sphere and we insert it as a child of the rectangle. And then we're gonna scale it up until we like it. I think I'm going like this. It has to be inside our rectangle, just like that. And then click on the sphere, rectangle, sphere material and uh, add the camera texture in diffuse texture and check the depth options in advanced render options down there and see if something happens you can scale it up scale it down find your your balance and then change view you can tell it's a little bit offset and uh, to change that, what I found easy and helpful is to open the patch editor and then click on the sphere material and click on texture. Now drag and drop camera texture inside the patch editor and add a 2D transform pack and a texture sampler or transform, sorry, and uh, plug it just like this to the pack and transform camera texture into texture and then the output in diffuse and uh, by twisting it a little bit, you'll notice you can have some crazy experimental result or you can kind of center it and like make it a little bit smaller and uh, so try to mess around with scale, with translations, and see if you can center it up a little bit. So yeah, that's basically it. Now it's always up to your taste, and you can of course have, I don't know, different spheres with different size, and yeah, that's it. I hope you like it, guys. Love you all. See you in the next one.